Sarah, you have some beautiful pieces inside your shop here. And I'm really intrigued to know where they come from. Are they all from one area of Africa or do they come from, I mean, yeah. No, they're all from various countries across Africa. Our purpose really is to explore the continent of Africa and bring out here the finest of their arts and crafts. So they're from various countries. At the moment, the, we, most things we have are from the West African region, but we also have things from the East and from South Africa as well. We've got things from Kenya, from Uganda at the moment. But like I said, we're still traveling, we're still exploring and still searching. Okay, I'm also intrigued to know how you select your items. I mean, who's your buyer and what, what pieces do you go for when you go um, to, to put in your shop? Well, I, um, I am the buyer myself. I do the travel myself because I, um, I need to see, I need to facilitate a relationship with the craftsmen and women themselves because uh, they're my people and I want to have a relationship with them and establish the trust whereby they produce the very best of their, of, to, their skill, to the very best of their ability to bring here because I'm committed to bringing their work to showcase to the Western world and it's imperative that we bring things of the finest quality, not just the day-to-day -day tourist little pieces and, that you find everywhere, but I go there myself and I select the most beautiful pieces in my estimation and so far so good, people seem to like my choice and um, yes, so I develop the relationship with them, with the craftspeople directly and they know the sort of things I'm after and they continue to work to produce things of that standard and quality based on their skills of course I do let them use their talents. Okay and the other thing that I've noticed you've got some lovely carving some lovely woodworks here but I'm also intrigued to know if there's other uh, materials that you like to have on display as well I mean I have seen some fabrics um, um, maybe you can enlighten me on that? Yes we um with the carvings we have carvings of predominantly wood at the moment and um, all various kinds of wood but also we have things made out of bead and wire those are very um, characteristic of uh, South Africa and um, also we have things made of metal and we will be getting more things in of bronze and brass and uh, kisses stone soapstone from Kenya, Uganda, places like that. So we will be getting all kinds of things and we do have some of those things in at the moment. And also we do African fabrics from different regions also because we did mention about the fabrics. Yes, we do do Afri African fabrics. All, most of them hand uh, dyed batik and handmade also. But we've got African print fabric as well, which we in Nigeria know as Ankara. And we've got the traditional Ghanaian kente as well. We'll be getting some kikoi in from Uganda um, in time. So yes, African fabrics also are part of what we do because it's all artist they're all artistically prepared. The other thing that I noticed, that I think I saw on your site um, just the other day, was some beautiful clothing um, which some young guys are wearing. So, um, could you tell me a little more about that? Are you going to get more clothing in? Or, I mean, are you opening up another shop that just does fashion? Is there an extension here? Yes, we, we are hoping for an extension. We do hope to have a boutique eventually. You have a boutique which is just going to be for clothing and accessories, everything to do with fashion. But at the moment we have got a range of, uh, well, of clothing in for men and women of across various age range. And they're designed and sewn in Nigeria. The fabrics are from different parts of Africa. We've got fabrics from Ghana and fabrics from um, Ivory Coast. But the fabrics all get sent to Nigeria where we have a designer who designs this very unique and exquisite styles and uh, sewn up there and so we bring them here and we sell them but yes ultimately we we plan to have a fashion extension okay and then lastly for me i'm just intrigued to know about your prices i mean are these prices that everybody can afford or are they i mean what's what's your market here who are you looking to 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 sell to well our prices are all inclusive really i mean we have things starting from two pounds an ebony key ring. We have things ranging from that. We have paintings of 95 pounds and we have paintings of over 2,000 pounds. It all depends. We have sculptures of 30 pounds and we have sculptures of over 2,000 pounds and it, 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 it's some, there's something for everybody. 
there is something for everybody. Depending on your taste and what you want and affordability and the size of what you're after, there is something for everyone. So, we, yeah, our prices are all inclusive, really. Oh, that's really good to hear. And I must say, once again, I thoroughly love some of the things that you have in your shop Thank and you I just much. wish that I could have a home that was large enough to accommodate all of these things because I definitely would buy so much of it so thank you. Thank you. Remember us when you do move out into your mansion.